Hey everybody, welcome to part 2 of feeding video 13. This is my female Brachypelma albopilosum. And here is a mold. So she's freshly molded. Look at how beautiful she is. <coughs> Let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna try to throw the worm behind her so she will turn around. Where you get the, a good shoe from the front side. She really is stunning. Look how beautiful she is. Like I said, freshly molded. Really, really beautiful. I hope you guys liked part one of feeding video 13. Um, it had some good attacks, I think. But uh, yeah, let's get started with this one. Here we have my Therophosa apophysis. Now let's see if this one is hungry. It should be hungry. It's a Therophosa. Um, I'm going to give it an adult female red runner. It is a, going to be a big prey. The body of this red runner is about just as big as the body of the uh, apophysis. But, oh my god! <laughs> wow! And overpowered. It is amazing. The roach never stood a chance, and the body of the roach really is as big as the body of this apophysis is. Wow. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to give it some water and uh, let's get on to the next. And here's Haplocosmia Himalayana. <laughs> right? I knew it was hungry because it was walking around. But I wasn't sure if it would tongue feed, but it did. Awesome! Alright, on to the next. Here we have my young female Glaciador Parahabana. Let's see if it wants this roach. Yeah, awesome! Here we have my Samopoas Emeraldus. And unfortunately, this is the only one that I've got left. Um, I don't know what happened with the other three, but um, let's hope this one will survive. I have no idea where the roach went. Well, you, <laughs> we got to see it hunting. Awesome! Here we have my Brachypelma vegans. Let's see if this one would like a roach. Uh -huh. Yeah, it does. Awesome. All right. Oh, come back and feel a little bit, babe. Yeah, that's it. All right, on to the next. Here we have my Evolpus muranus female. Let's hope this roach can draw it out a bit. That's how beautiful she is. And we tore off again yet another abdomen. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to throw in another one. Okay, so I managed to uh, fish her out. Let's see if she would take. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> On to the next. Here we have Chromostella grossa number one. Let's see if it would like a nice roach. If it doesn't eat, she is in pre mold or he. Oh! Oh crap. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and it went back into its enclosure on its own. Now, the abdomen doesn't look dark yet, but it is quite fat. So, it could very well be that it is in pre-mold. Or not. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm guessing this roach will get it into pre-mold then. Um, <laughs> on to the next.
You have seen a closure of my serial pack plus Lividus. Now, I really do not trust this girl. Let's hope she will come out for this maimed road. Yeah, awesome. There she is. Unfortunately, we do not really get to see the colors, but oh my God, she's beautiful. All right, on to the next. And here we have Hoplocus species Columbia Lodge number two. Let's give this one a roach as well. Yeah. Awesome. All right. On to the next. You have my juvenile female from Ectopus Let's see what would like this roach. Awesome. You gotta love you from Ectopus. Really cool. All right. On to the next. Here's a Vicky Lara Geraldine number eight. Let's see if we can get this one to eat as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Oh, he's coming back up. That's cool. All right, on to the next. Here's the mill, a Vicky Lara and Vicky Lara. Let's see if we can get this one to eat. Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> he had me startled a little bit. I didn't expect him to come uh, running half out, but... Uh... Awesome. Skinny abdomen. You can really can use that roach. <laughs> All right, on to the next. And here we have Grammastola Grossa number two. Now let's see if this one would <laughs> eat and hopefully with a less care. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I was going to say, and hopefully with a little bit less scaring than the number one did, but uh, luckily this one went a lot better. <laughs> awesome. So this one's abdomen is a lot skinnier than the other ones is, so I'm really sure the other one is going to be in pre-mold after this. Absolutely love the Grammastella Grossas. David over at the area Arachnid and uh, Trenchla Cat um, also got theirs not too long ago. That was really cool. I think mine are a little bit bigger, I'm not sure about that. but. Uh, yeah, on to the next. We have my Brachypel Mahamori male. Now let's see if we can get him to take this worm. Yep. He was drinking from the water. Let me take that away. Oh. Don't be so skittish, boy. I'm not hurting you. Really, I'm not. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, on to the next. This really tiny sling is Haplogus species Glomulite number three. I got this one as a freebie. Um, let's see if it would take this tiny little roach that I found. Yeah. Good job! Awesome! Alright, on to the next! Here's the enclosure of my Pisateria Onada. And it was hungry! Awesome! Love it! Alright, on to the next! Here's the enclosure of my Seo Tejaros Darlingi. 
which unfortunately is a suspect nail, but the mold was a little bit tore up, so I'm not entirely sure. I took it. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him come out, but uh, awesome. On to the next. Here we have my Kinobreki Strimbriadis. Let's see if we can uh, don't feed this one. <laughs> awesome! Here's a Vicaria Geraldi number 9. This one should be ready to eat. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would say that's a yes. Awesome. The roach might have been a little bit big, but um, yeah, it looks like he's got a hole of it. Not sure if it will show up. There it is. All right, on to the next. Here we have my Nandukumatis female. Let's see if she would like a. Nice worm. Yeah, she does. <laughs> awesome. Look at how beautiful she is. All right, on to the next. Here we have my Ezio Cotella Olivacea. Yeah, awesome. Here we have my Lassiadora Parahabana sling. Let's see if it wants to eat. I'm sure it will. Oh, yeah, awesome. Can't wait to see this one grow up. Of course, the bigger one that I have is a female. I really hope this one is going to be a female as well because I have no intentions of breeding them. Um, Really not looking forward to an egg sack of 2,000 plus eggs, so um, yeah, hoping they're both female. <laughs> All right, on to the next. Here we have my beautiful Avicularia female. Let's see if this one wants a tongue feed. Awesome. Really, really awesome. She looks so beautiful. Here's my Femictopus species full green female. And as I said in the Rios video, this one is really a bulldozer. And uh, as you can see, it's dug its hideout, replaced it somewhere else. And uh, doesn't seem to want it. Um, let's see if she wants this big juicy female rat runner. Awesome. And a happy dance. Thank you, Rape. <laughs> All right, on to the next. Okay, so this is going to be the last one for part two. This is my Gromistola Pokra Mill. Let's see if it wants his roach. Ah. <coughs> Only got to see half the attack because the hide, but uh, at least we got to see the hunt, right? That's a little beauty. Unfortunately, this one is a male. Um, well, like I said, last one of part two. Um, hope you guys liked it and I will see you in part three. Bye bye. <laughs>